Yo, what's going on guys? Jared here. I am joined with Malcolm McNeil, who just got first place at the 3v3 tournament, the same as my brother did yesterday. He was on the same team, and you might have heard in his profile that there, he played with an Infernoid player. Well, this is the Infernoid player. Um, this is something that definitely caught my eye, and I actually wanted to see how he was playing it. So I'm going to, uh, she's going to show you the profile, and I am more than likely going to ask some questions here and see how it worked out, because I am extremely curious. So again, Malcolm, congratulations. Thank you for obviously showing us this and uh yeah well thank you for having me on your channel um jared and um yeah so i'm just gonna get right into it i'm gonna go by engine because this deck is a big deck of engines um it's 60 cards i played a lot of um non-engine too as well just to fit some in there um i'll just start with the infernoid stuff itself um so we have the one void feast the two void banishments to search the void feast and to search the two void imagination. Um, these cards were good. This card was absolutely broken against um, the voiceless deck because they're all on branded fusion. So you can kind of just oh. act activate this. They're forced to either banish the mirror jade or keep it. But if they do not, um, if they go ahead and keep the mirror jade or if you do it after the mirror jade banish, you send down your six noise and summon Tierra, and then you pop their whole board, and then they lose. I'm not gonna lie. You you, you said this card was broken against Voiceless. I'm like, what extra deck monster is Voiceless ending on? And you said Branded Fusion. I was like, oh yeah, that's right. They play that now. Forgot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. They they all they are all on that for some reason. I, I have no clue why. I don't really particularly like it, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> um, the the fee still summons out the Decatrons, and you still get to do the whole. That whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, for the Infernoid Monsters, we have the one Harmadic. This actually came up for me to pop a Vanity's Fiend. Um, two um, Deviati. One Anunku. One Sajeti. All these names are so hard. One <laughs> Petrulia. <laughs> no um, one Infernoid Premieris. Um, one Atondel. One Sidesmith. And then the Triple Terror of the Afterworld is Decatron. So, oh yeah, yeah, bread and butter that of is the it. deck. Absolutely, that is it for the Infernoid monsters. Um, the, this is the shock for everybody. Um, you as well played Horus, so you did. I played two, um, King Sark, triple M Seti, and then one of the Happy. Um, these cards are more of a tech choice because to make. A card I'll show you in the extra deck just to get to a starter sometimes, but they also can beat your opponent with Witch on board too as well. They um the, uh, that came up once. Mm. Um, for the Snake Eyes engine, we got the Triple Wanted, um, one of the Snake Eyes Sinful Spoils, one of the Field Spell. I count Bonfire as the fire card, so <laughs> two Bonfire. I could not get the get the third one to switch it out for an Inferno monster. So it is what it is. Um, two witch, which is perfect. And then let me move these to the side. We got um, one Snake Eyes Oak, three Ash, two Poplar, one of the the Flamberg Dragon. The Flamberg Dragon's ridiculous. <laughs> this card. <laughs> This card is is absolutely ridiculous. Um, this card needed to be it needs to be hit. Honestly, like I, I don't know why that's legal. I really don't. I I, after I played I the fire deck one time, I'm like, well, I found the problem. It's the dragon. <laughs> it took five yeah, seconds. The, yeah, the dragon. The dragon is absolutely ridiculous. Like, I, um, because you loop Decatron so many times in this build with the stupid dragon right here. It's mm -hmm. like it, you, you send it to the grave. If you have like Decatron and Grave, you bring back Decatron, you dump an Infernoid, you tribute Decatron, you banish something in the grave or negate something, then you prince, then you princess, you bring back this thing, and then on their turn, when you use the IP Mascarena to um, link off, you link this thing off and another monster into Appaloosa under um, Delantis, and then Decatron comes back out because this thing went. And you make it a Nunku, so that way you have three <laughs> oh, Apple in the gate. <laughs> oh. 
can you have a, a spell trap negate as well for the talons when and, it comes down? Because it's always the popping battle down. phase too with the Zelantis. <laughs> yes, Jesus yes, Christ! Absolutely. Nice yeah, board. So, Good lord. <laughs> So you just have you have that that to be funny. Um, for non-engine, I'll start with this some of the spells. So one, I got a one for one, two talons, and then three cross out, and these just standard snake eyes stuff for whatever purpose. It's all purpose. So yeah. this card's this card's broken. They they I don't I don't know about this card. This card they need to start hitting too honestly it is a hand trap um, format <laughs> yes it is and then hand traps i had to play weird ratios of hand traps because you really don't want to draw too many of these but you got two um infinite impermanence three nib um three bell two ghost ogre two droll two ash and then the singular um effect veiler for whenever you this comes up to cross out, and, yeah. but you can also use it a hand trap too. Well, there's no way I'm not going to ask how was ogre in this event because that's definitely um, a not standard hand trap. <laughs> um, so ogre was good when I needed to hit low and to hit a normal summon diviner. Um, both the matches I did play against voiceless, I um wind up hitting low a lot. Um, they normal blow, low effect, ogre, and then they're like, "Yeah, I don't have anything to ritual past turn." Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, yeah. I was wondering what the theory was behind the the ogre, because that's like yeah, a very, very unique hand trap, right? Yeah, no, right nobody now. really like uses it right now. Jesse Cotton was kind of talking about it a little bit, but mm -hmm. like, if you um use it for on diviner and low in the voiceless matchup, it automatically ends their turn because they don't have anything to tribute. So they go normal diviner True. and usually they send down triads and then but if you ogre the tri the triads you they can't tribute anything and it ends the turn. Yeah, once the herald once you chain ogre to herald, that's like ugh, it's a bad spot, definitely. Yeah. Right. Um would you want me to do side or extra first? Uh extra's fine. That works. Okay. Actually, right, before so we do extra, I, I kinda wanna ask you this. What made yeah. you play Infernoid? Was it just like you didn't want to play normal fire deck or your um I'm just so curious. So the, the call for Inferno, it was actually for, since, since I was AC, it was actually for Voiceless and for Fire King um, Snake Eyes. The Inferno deck actually has a very good Fire King Snake Eyes matchup due mm -hmm. to the fact that you can put up enough DD Crows to banish Garunix and to banish the anything they get ready to summon out the graveyard um, on your turn. And as well as Deviati negating and banishing a card when everybody's playing so many hand traps is absolutely crucial. Nibiru's the bane of the fire deck's existence. So if you can play a deck that plays around Nibiru, you'll actually do very well at every tournament that you play at right now. Yeah. Okay. I was just curious what the mm -hmm. the process was. Is your is your like one card combo different than other like yeah. snake eye combos? You don't have to do it yeah. right now. Uh, maybe at the okay. end you can show, can show it. Yeah, I can show it to you. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It um, it in it because because you put a negate on board, it's very it's safe. It's okay. very safe actually. Um, so um, extra deck we got one link Karibo because you got to play it. It's it's just a good generic link one. Um, for the link twos, you got SP, Phoenix, IP, Dark, and Hita. Mm -hmm. So the same same link ones, no different there. They all do what they need to do. This card and is actually broken because of the nib token. This came up for for Vince too, um, the last round because this card is just a fire. You just need to get it on board sometimes, um, to make your plays live. Mm -hmm. Um, one um Promethean Princess for the Link Three, and then Link Fours we have one Appaloosa, Zelantis, and then the Raging Phoenix for the um OTK yep. to go lo along with it. Um, we have one Exceed, which is Zombie Vampire. This card's broken with the horror stuff. Um, your deck is sixty cards. You are never going to mill a good card in your deck because you play a lot of spells and a lot of different <laughs> hand traps and combinations. Okay. But your opponent's deck is 40 cards. So milling four cards off of their off of their deck and then hitting a snake eyes ash is your full combo along with their cards. So yeah. this card is um actually really good. It was really, really good against like just random stuff too. Like I would mill I milled a cash Terra player and hit the Fenrir and just took the Fenrir out of his, his, his um, graveyard and was like, well, you know, I can play with this. And then I looked at it and I said, oh, I have a hand trap, Baron. So speaking uh -huh. of Baron, 
Very. That works. <laughs> um, one Tierra, and then you play the two Entests to go with the Tierra, because okay. this, this card can pop Tierra, or pop two cards on your opponent's side. I'm assuming that's 15 in the extra? Plus 15, yep. Why did that feel? That felt like so much more. It felt like you had like a full Snake Eye extra deck, plus Infernoids, plus Synchros. It, yeah, it's it's like everything that you need in there, and then some. I was playing Millennium Eyes Restrict, and I cut that at the last second because of um, Eddie, our other teammate, was just like, "Why don't you just play a second in test instead of playing Millennium Eyes Restrict?" But Millennium Eyes Restrict honestly came up more than the second in test mm -hmm. because you can um, Zelantis off, you can instant fusion into the Millennium Eyes Restrict, negate something, and then Zelantis off the Millennium Eyes Restrict and bring it back, and it just stays stuck to the board. It yeah, that's pop, right? very cool interaction. That really not, good. I don't think yeah. a lot, of, not a lot of people know. Yeah, it's, especially it's really even good. Zelantis resetting Decatrons too is also really strong. It is, it's, it's ridiculous too, right? <laughs> so um, for, for, for the side deck, I have um three um the Cosmic and the Singular Twin Twister. Um, the logic behind the Twin Twister was that a lot of the Snake Eyes players are getting rid of the um Sanctuary to go off of Snake Eyes Ash, so mm -hmm. you can just twin their back row. So whatever they put for IP or SP. And the field spell at the same time if they get rid of it. So yeah. just the one, and it pops summon limit too. That's mm -hmm. gotta get that has to go. So, um, and then I have for hand traps. I was was playing two spooky dogwood. I told Vince to cut this, and I should have cut it too as well. <laughs> Honestly, you gotta practice what you me, preach, bro. <laughs> yeah, right. It did get me a game. Um, uh, like uh, it got me to the end of game two, and it allowed my teammates to win out at that point. But I went up to like twenty three thousand life points or something like that against Branded. So that's always it good. Was okay. Some obscene number. Yeah, it was it was it was all right. Um, two Magnuma or one Magnuma, one Druid Worm. This is just for like Branded or Voiceless or whatever kind of random deck comes up that's dark mm -hmm. and you need to just banish it. So this this these cards work. Um, this searches Flamberg Dragon. So. Okay. Um, and then two Phantasme. I never got to see this. This card was not, um, I never sided this in. So. I'm so sad that you never saw yeah. it. I love that card right now. <laughs> yeah. It's like one of my favorite I, hand I, traps right now. Yes, it, it's great if, if you draw it. That's, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. <awful. laughs> um, and then I played triple copies of Lancia. Um, this card was broken. Um, I played a lot of shifter decks, so this card, this card just ended the turns or like, okay. I would <laughs> that <laughs> Yeah, yeah, mill it with zombie vampire, summon it, and just leave it on board and just be like, yeah, you can go ahead. Have oh, that's fun. funny, yeah. And then two copies of, of Modern Day Van Vanity's Emptiness. Yeah, the the broken floodgate of choice of the format. Yeah, they, they need to ban that card. Always so good. So happy it exists. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm assuming the, um, the combo is is going to be a one, just Snake Eye Ash combo as they normally are. It basically. Um, so... If you start with, I'm going to pull this out real quick. So we're going to pull out Poplar. I'll just pull out. I'll just do it. Screw it. Yeah, because so it's going to be like would, Ash. Yeah. Yeah. You, so you normal Ash, Ash effect, add Poplar. Poplar effect, summon. And then you want to do effect and you want to grab the um, Snake Eyes um, Sinful Spoils. And then you can Sinful Spoils. Then what you want to do is not link Poplar off. A lot of people link the Poplar off into Link Rebo, but with your combo, you're not actually going to link the Poplar off too early. Actually, you are. I'm, I lied. I lied. What am I thinking? <laughs> you link, <laughs> you link, the, link the Poplar off into Link Karibo. Okay. What am I saying? And then Poplar put itself in a spell trap zone. Then you want to go ahead and use the... um the original sinful spoils actually send the poplar because you don't want it on board and summon out your decatron and then decatron effect will go off and it'll send down whatever infernoid you want i usually send down deviati just to put it in the graveyard for later on mm -hmm. but you can send down whatever you want it doesn't really really honestly matter you send down deviati Using my camera, and then you go Snake Eyes Ash Effect, and you actually are going to technically you could leave this on board for the negate, or you can send this off with it and summon out the Flamberg Dragon. But I don't, I never leave the negate on board because 
I, you can play through most of it with the five card hand. So you just go ahead and um, send off the Decatron and summon out the Flamberg Dragon. Mm -hmm. And then you can link the Flamberg Dragon and Decatron off into any of the fires. So normally you can go into Hita or I've been going into Phoenix. And then Flamberg Dragon can bring back two. So you bring back Decatron and the um, Snake Eyes Ash. And then you're going to use the Decatron effect again because it's not once per turn. Very balanced. Very, It's very fair, right? Yeah, extremely fair <laughs> card, trust me. <laughs> it's extremely fair. And you send out uh, either Sites Voss or you can send down a Tondo, whatever one you want to send down just to get it into the grave. But if you want to do the right play, you send down Sites Miss first. Then you take this and this and turn it into Princess. Princess. Oh, I mean... oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that is not where, where it's at. You turn it into Princess. And then you kind of just do the your regular thing from here. You go Princess, summon out Flamberg. Then you go these two into whatever you want. Basically, but you go into um, Raging Phoenix and then into the Lances, and then you want to go Banish one, oh, not this one, excuse me, other way around. Banish the Deviati, Banish the um, Infernoid, or excuse me, yeah. Yeah, yep. Banish Deviati, yeah, Banish Decatron, you summon Sites Moss. And then on their turn, the same thing. So this is just the DD Crow one. This was just the standard board I'd put up. So you just put this up. You actually don't use the Zelanus effect because this can't come back. Do you make so, uh don't. do you do you make IP here or no? Um no. No. Normally I d I don't make IP, but sometimes you can. It just depends on which way your combo goes, but this is just the standard one card. Yeah, I was gonna say it just seems like the normal. Uh, it's yeah, like it's like normal, normal snake eye combo, but just snake instead. Combo with just, yeah, right, right. Except you end on the sites must, so you can have the DD the DD crow in, in um on their turn. You really okay. want the DD crow effect more or less than anything because when you tribute this thing for the D DD crow effect, um, you target one of their monsters, it brings back the ash and the um, poplar, and then you go search for this field spell. So that you can have more bodies on board, but it's more the DD Crow than anything. Yeah, I guess and I was more curious with the with like the the Nightmare Phoenix because that could that could have just been the the IP right, and then you could have just Flamberg back the IP like the the same thing right because you, can, you, you can didn't do, use Flamberg's you effect. Do, right, correct, correct. You can you can Flamberg like if you want to, you can even do this instead of making the Sites Moss. You can even Flamberg back the um oh the Decatron too the yeah Deca the Decatron yeah right, which then can te technically be summoned on your opponent's turn. And you can go effect and make it a Deviati, which then can tribute to Flamberg, and then you can still get the same. You get a negate with it too, and get the same thing out. That's cool. Well. So, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The Decatron, the Decatron, like kind of loops itself mm -hmm. around in the circle. Um, the main, and that's just the combo with Ash. The main combo is actually with Witch, and Witch opens up this to be left on board, so that you can do an even more broken combo with it, which gotcha. is IP on top of that, on top of having this. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. sick. Um, do you have any uh, any other shout outs or anything else you want to say about the deck or anything um, changes you I'll, want to make? Um, changes I would make personally, I'm probably going to wind up when the new stuff comes out is cutting all the, the, the hand traps from it. Um, I really would prefer to have the gas, the gas would have been very much appreciated during certain rounds, but other than that, no, I like the deck. Um, DD Crow on legs for every turn game is like really good right now. Just because everybody's summoning back two monsters or doing something in grave where they need to bring back it, bring back the low for a negate. So the DD Crow effects are really good. And Void Imagination is busted right now because everybody's using the extra deck monsters. Mm -hmm. um, I want to make a shout out to E and E Card Shop. Just let letting those guys know they're awesome. Um, those guys are always good to play test with. Bojangles is the spot up in Roseville, uh, up in Roseville, where everybody goes. Yeah, Bojangles, we baby. <laughs> <laughs> we get countless, countless, countless hours of playtesting at Bojangles, so I, I, I really appreciate those guys for helping me. Um, I want to also have a shout out to Larry, which is a guy me and Vince actually work with 
Um, he's the guy who told me about the Garunix and Grave that I remembered having the conversation with him for over an hour about, you know, why Grunix is so good in graveyard. So he's the reason <laughs> why, why we why, why I told Vince that at the final. So shout out to him as well. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Well, well, for one last time, congratulations. Um, again, obviously this is something unique, something different. So I'm happy to see it do well. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you more success uh, in the future. Um, until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you did. Right, bye, guys.